probably the most convenient way of doing uh, forensics in QReader is really get alerted by a particular event like for example we may have this uh, particular offense firing indicating something that is suspicious well now I want to run a forensic investigation well all, all you need to do is right click on the on the actual IP address uh, user ID whatever is the the element that you want to start doing the search and then you run a forensic recovery to get the data uh, out of the pickup appliances and then you run a forensic search and that takes you to the forensic uh, tab directly. Uh, what I'm going is going into the forensic tab and actually I have a, a, a particular case here uh, that I've been doing some investigation uh, to show for example when you want to look into DNS analysis. Do we have DNAs, DNS spoofing or DNS poisoning? Are, are we sure that the DNS resolver that we are using is taking us uh, to the right place? So in this particular case, um, we want to analyze whether this uh, uh, this DNS is actually taking us to the real PayPal. So we can click on that record, and then we see well this probably is very legit because it's as you can see here is using Akamai, which is a very legit uh, uh, DNS uh, server. You can also do, you know, more combined searches in here. I can do, for example, and here and put uh, paypal.com. I just want to have all those records that have that, that component and click here on search and I get a, a subset of those. All these have the paypal.com uh, and, and this is actually the very same document that I saw before. And in this demo, I only have, you know, close to 3,000 documents, uh, but you know, in a, in a real scenario, the, the, this, this search is going to be uh, far more massive. And I can, uh, for example, uh, do, me actually, you can search in whatever, you can search for IP addresses. For example, I can put IP address and then put uh, 23.196.228.157 and perform a search and that's going to give me well this doesn't seem to be a record for that I th thought I had this seen that address well maybe let me see if it was 228 yep and this is the one right? so so we can see here uh, records uh, that are related only to that IP address so we can see whether that IP address is actually uh, using the uh, legitimate DNS. But DNS uh, searches can be very difficult to do when you don't have tools like this and and, and, and things that uh, this uh, forensic search can easily help you tremendously. One thing that is important for you to know is that even though we have a virtual machine that is the doing pickup, uh, I actually took some pickup of some sample files and I added that directly into uh, QReaders uh, forensic component by going here into the admin tab into uh, the case management and I dropped as you can see drag and drop here the, 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 the file so I dropped this uh, the PayPal the printer and the telnet uh, pickups file uh, so so you can do your whatever tool you want to use for for uh, for pickup if you're not using the curator appliances and actually drop those in here uh, for analysis so I did this search here, uh, the same case, data loss and collection uh, sprinter or pickup, one of those files that I sent here, and this only has one record. And this is, you know, to, for analyzing, well, I got a printer here. Is this a legitimate printer? There's been well-known cases where a printer which gets access to the internet is actually used as a beachhead uh, for um, exfiltrating data. And we seem to see here that this is really, you know, this is a document that has been printed, installation, the PDF, seems to be an HP printer. Uh, the username seems to be Pierre. We see it here. So this seems to be a very, you know, nothing, nothing strange, nothing running here. But just to show you that nothing escapes to the scrutiny of uh, uh, forensic. If the traffic went through the network, 
then uh, Forensic can actually help you uh, analyze that. And the other case is that uh, the other file that I dropped is this telnet.pcap and in here we can actually see uh, all, all that traffic that is related uh, to, uh, to telnet and we can click on this uh, record and we see all the commands that the individual actually did. Again, nothing, nothing strange in here. Uh, but that that should be normally the case that you 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 should be encouraged to do forensic investigation when you find something on an offense that calls your attention because the forensic investigation are now so inexpensive so easy to be done then you can do more uh, uh, a more frequent uh, forensic.